Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I will be showing you guys how to build a decent, I guess, a good coaster. It's not, it's not going to be amazing, but but how to how to build a good coaster in Planet Coaster. And for this video, I'm going to be using the uh, using the floorless coaster, or as it's called in game, Werewolf. And I will, I'll add a few trees, maybe add a few rocks, maybe water a after as well for scenery and stuff. But what I will be doing first is raising the station off the ground a little bit. So seven meters, that might be slightly high even, but that's okay. And I will, and I'll have the banking offset to, to two. Um, and then what I'll, what I'll do is like as you guys can see, hopefully angle snap is on. You don't have to have this, but I'll just um, what I'm gonna do is set the uh, track piece meter. I guess so. I have nine meter track pieces each time. You guys don't have to do this. I personally don't know what is uh, what is the best length to set it as. But I'm just gonna set it there. So what I'm gonna do, um, actually, um, no, I want to do this. I'm gonna have it face this way. You guys will see why in a sec, and then raise it off the station. I'll raise it off the ground a bit, seven meters. Um, again, uh, might be slightly much, but it's okay. And then what I'll do is uh, actually for this for this part of the ride I'm gonna have the track uh, I'm gonna have the track each piece quite sh quite uh, quite short so I'm just gonna take a 45 degree um, turn out of the station here um, I guess I don't have to bank it like that. Um, Yeah, okay. Like that, and then I'm gonna go up once, bring this thing down like this, and do that. And then I'm, I'm, I'm gonna sm smooth this thing out real quick. There we go. Um, yeah. Alright, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. Let's see, is it recording? It is. Okay, good. I'm going to add a um, block section, drive tires, and then I'll use a chain lift. You guys don't really have to do this, just block sections are decent so you can run more than one train. You got, if you guys really, really if you guys want to make something quick, you can just go right into the chain lift and stuff. But for this video, I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to add a block section, drive tires, and then chain lift. Uh, and then chain lift, and usually, and I'm gonna put the chain lift speed all the way up to four, to 14. You guys don't have to do this, but especially for testing, it makes it it makes it um, a bit quicker. And now I'm gonna have the track meter. I'm gonna bring it, put it out to about 17, and then I think a 33 degree angle. Uh, is good enough for this. I'm gonna make this coaster about 45 meters. I'm gonna have to do this. Uh, 45 meters, perfect. Um, I don't know how much this is in feet, but um, 45 meters. That's actually. Do you know what? I'm gonna go a bit higher than that. I'm gonna go with. Um, Let's go 53 meters. You guys might have to adjust the track length, um, the track piece, um, to get it to a certain height. If if you if you guys want to have like have your co coaster at a certain height, you guys might have to adjust the track length, uh, track length for each piece of the track. Um, now, 
what what is kind of common, and I've I haven't been on any any f floorless coasters in my life, but what I've seen on videos um, is kind of common. Is that in, there's usually not a straight drop. Actually, do you know I, I shouldn't say that right now, but. I don't know. I'm not gonna have, you know, a straight drop like this. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna have a pre drop. I was originally gonna uh turn around and then drop, but then that does not get uh that gives us a decent amount of room to work with. Um Yeah, do, do you know what? I'm actually gonna have a I'm actually going to do this. So what I'll do is I'll um, take this track piece. I'm going to turn it at a about a, like 22. No, I'm going to turn it at about a 45 degree angle once again. And I'm going to have the banking. Like um, this is more banking than you than you really need to have. But I'm just going to have the bank the banking quite high um let's bring the track piece down a bit and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go um, up like this and let's actually start the test to make sure um, let's speed the game up a bit all right Okay, oh, that's not working. Um, no, do you know what? I changed my mind. Um, let's just go. Let's just have something that will work better for us. We'll have a pre-drop section. So what I'll do is I'll go down to, is, is I'll go down at about a 22 degree angle. Uh, and I'll go down that one, and I'll do that once, and then go up two, so so that this piece is flat, and then I um, let me actually extend the track uh, each track piece, and then what I'll do is I is I will go down once again. Uh, yeah, what I'll do is I'll go down once again, and I'm gonna smooth this out after big time. But let's actually let's extend it. Let's extend it. I'm gonna go down at about a 67 degree angle because um, I think that will be okay. And now I'm gonna smooth the smooth this out. I'm gonna actually smooth the whole drop, not the pre-drop though. Just gonna. Smooth it out lots and lots, 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 lots. Um, that's actually not much of. That's not much of a pre-drop, but that's okay. Oh, four point. And as you guys can see, the the, the G-force is a bit high. And actually, do you know what? For the pre-drop section, um, I'm I'm actually gonna go down. Um, at a 33 degree angle, and then I'm gonna go down at 11. Actually, yeah. actually no, 33 degrees, and then straight, and then I'm gonna go, and then I'm gonna extend this, and then I'm gonna go down at a 67 degree angle. And then I'm gonna smooth the drop out. Lots and lots and lots. This video might be over an hour, but I'm but I'm trying. So what I'm gonna do is gonna I'm gonna pre-record a bunch of Minecraft um, videos on my on this uh, our survival world. And then I'm gonna, um, or I'm gonna try to, and then I'm hopefully gonna try to, um, 
upload them um, every day while I'm uh, every day since I'm gone camping. So yeah, those videos will the videos will hopefully upload every day while I'm gone camping because I'm leaving tomorrow and I'm coming back on Thursday. But um, but th but this video will this video will be up today. This video will be up the day I'm recording it. So anyway, that um, what I was trying over there didn't work. So I should probably explain what I'm doing. So instead of doing that, I'm gonna have the track, uh, each track piece, about 10 meters, and then I'm gonna go down, and then I'm gonna try my best to do this. I just go. Just go up and up and up, and now I'm now I'll smooth this out. And let's and let's see. Once the coaster comes up, once the coaster gets to the top of the chain lift, and then goes down the drop, we'll see the G-force to see to see if it's good enough for to see if it's um, low enough. For the for this type of coaster, I'm looking around um, uh, probably around 3.9 G's or maybe very very early f uh, four, uh, very very early four. Let's see. Um, perfect. Actually, that's a per. Uh, that's perfect. It's in the high threes for vertical G force. So. That's actually perfect. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just start out with a you know just an old classic kind of vertical loop. And I think I'm gonna have to maybe rate uh, make the vertical loop higher, but we'll see. Let's see. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's way too high. So let's raise it up and then see how this is. Um, I'm actually gonna smooth this part out as well, for because so, for some reason sometimes um, Planet Coaster does that to me when I raise the vertical loops, the track twists or whatever. But yeah, I'm just gonna s smooth it out. All right, there you go. Let's actually, ah, uh, let's not, let's not um, ride it. But it's at the top of the chain lift, going down the pre-drop. Oh, I'm definitely gonna have to s smooth that out a bit because um, you get a little bit too much air time. That's not really realistic. Um, that's actually pretty good, but I'm gonna raise it up a bit more. Um, that's actually quite a bit, but like uh, 43 meters. Oh uh, yeah, and we'll see how this goes now. Let's speed it up. All right. Um. That's slightly slow, but and I'm and I realize that the G force goes uh, the vertical G force goes up to four, right around that area. So let me see if I can fix that by smoothing it out. I know this probably is probably not the best tutorial for you guys, but I'm sorry. I'm trying. I'm trying to make a good coaster. Usually, usually, whenever I make, actually, well, I shouldn't say that, but I'm really trying to take my time here. Oh, and there's actually, actually, there's actually um, over four there. Let's see what happens if we, what happens if we rope, re profile this drop again. Uh, I know I'm doing it so many times, but let's actually. Got 13 this time, 
and then go down. And let's actually go down one, and then what happens if we. And then go up again. That. And then smooth this whole drop out. Let's see. Um, no, no, that's even worse. All right, well, let me, I'm gonna go back to 10 and then I'm gonna go, and then I'm gonna go down once and then, and then I'm gonna go up like this. And then for this part, I'm gonna extend the track uh, meter, each piece, and then go, and then do that. And then smooth it out. I'm sorry, this, me, uh, me making this drop is taking so long. It's just that I want to. I want to. Um, I want to get it on, get it almost perfect. I'm not really going for realism for like how a, f a floorless coaster drop looks. I'm just, you know, try trying to get the stats right. And, oh, that's really low. But do you know what? I'm good with that. That's. That's really low uh, for vertical G's, in my opinion, but but I'll, I'll go with that, like I said. Then I'll place a loop. Now, let's see. There's lots of testing. Oh, um, I had the game sped up for the whole time by accident. I th let's see. Let's redo it. There you go. Um, yeah, that's way too slow. That is way too slow. All right, let's bring it down like this. Um, like that, and then let's try again. All right, better, but still really slow. Let's bring it down even more. Oh gosh, life of building a coaster and plan a coaster, or trying to build a coaster. Anyway, let's see. That's uh, that's high. Oh my gosh, am I still recording? I am uh, good. Uh, let's bring that up and then speed the game up once again all right let's see this right this this video is gonna be almost two hours for heck's sake um that's a bit slow but you know what I'll take it that's better I will take that now what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna go into another inversion. I'm going to use a Cobra Roll. And I'm going to bring the size down to about 42. Alright, speed the game up. And now let's see. Good. Bit slow on the top. Down. Um, please. Oh, that's really slow, to be honest. But, again, that's not, I guess, not horrible. So, I'll, I'll take it. Now, now, for me, this is kind of the tricky part. After these two inversions, I just I don't know what to do. I guess I can go with an overbank. Right, let's go up one, up two, and to be on, yeah. You know what? I'm not, I'm just gonna use the in-game because in-game ones because um, t to be honest with you guys, 
I'm not very good at making my own custom overbank turns. They're usually kind of rough. Or, yeah. Um, perfect. Let's let's actually see. Well, let's do. We, let's bring it down slightly. All right. Let's see. Right into the overbank. Oh, that's slow. That's too slow. Especially for overbanks, that's way too slow. Um. Alright. Speed the game up once again. And now let's see, this might be, yeah, um, I think that's a little bit too small, I'm gonna up, I'm gonna go up, bye, um, uh, let's see, that might be good, speed the game up once again. G-force is slightly high, but it's in the threes. You know what? Let's go up again. Um, that's prob that's probably good. But let's check. You guys will probably have to do a lot of testing if you want to make a a good coaster because. Always need to make sure the stats are okay. And again, you, uh, you know what? That's slow. Um, you know what? That's probably okay. Actually, no. I'm going to go up to about 34 meters. Yeah. Yeah, th there you go. That should be good. Okay, well, now we have this overbank. What else should I do? Um, maybe should I add a maybe a cutback? Ah, uh, no, let's not add a cutback. Put out a banana roll. That kind of looks nice. If you're if you're making something similar to this in the park, guests can maybe walk walk by and then have. And see, see, see the trains going through the inversions, but yeah, do, do you know what? This is too high. Let's see. Oh, that's again, yeah, that's kind of slow, but that the 20 something um, miles per hour have been because. Uh, mostly consistent near the top of all our inversions, so I'll stick with that actually. Um, now you guys, you really, really don't have to do this, but I think I'm gonna add a, an airtime hill. I'm probably gonna have to add, you know, probably a trim onto it, but maybe. Yeah, but I'm going to add an airtime hill. Uh, just like this. One, two, three. And, oh, you know what? I kind of don't... Kind of don't like... Uh, whatever. One, two, three. And then go one, two. Down one. Down two. Down three, up, uh, up one, up another, up an another. And now I'm gonna smooth this whole airtime hill out. Alright, let's see. 
Oh, that's kind of, it's, oh, dude, dude, to be honest, it's kind of slow. So, instead of having an airtime hill, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to have a couple of quick, I don't know, snappy, but low ground, uh, but low to the ground turn. So, I'm going to, I'm going to do this twice, and then come over here and do that twice. And now, I'm going to go, I, and actually first I'm going to smooth, smooth this out, and for this part I'm, I'm going to smooth just uh, piece by piece of the track, just like that. There we go. Let's do it a bit, a few more times. There we go. And now let's watch the watch the watch the train go. Let's, wa let's watch the train go. Let's see. Um, that's to to be honest, I don't know about that. No, I, I'm kind of not happy with that. So instead of doing that, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go up like this. I'm gonna tilt, do this. Add a, I'm gonna turn it at an 11.25 degree angle, and I'm gonna go do this twice, and then um, And then, how does this? I'm kind of experimenting myself. Uh, I'm kind of experimenting right now, but uh, to be honest, I don't even like that. So instead of doing that, I'll have one low to the ground turn. It's going to be kind of steep. 78 degree angle. Uh, one, two, and then well, uh, and then I think it's time to go. I think I'm gonna have one inversion. But what well, let's actually smooth this out real fast. Yeah, I'm gonna have another inversion. Smooth that out, and this inversion will be quite. Um, do you know what? You, you're gonna definitely get some hang time on this inversion, and then I'm gonna go into the mid course break run, and 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 the mid course again. You know what? It's a hundred percent not necessary. If it's this is more realistic having a mid course break run in my opinion. But uh, if you guys don't want to have one, that's totally fine. Two, three, four. I'm going to use the block section then four times. Then, since I'm, this is kind of a bad spot for me to be in, I'm going to turn around like this. And I'm going to start heading down to the stage. Um, let's see. I'm going to turn, a, I'm gonna turn around. And then I'm going to head down back um how did I want to do this let's just do that that and then let's do that and the reason why I'm not really being careful with this stuff is because I'm gonna smooth it out out all after and oh yeah that's even sl slightly slow ooh will you get up you will, but that's really slow. So what I'll do is I'll take, is I'll just highlight kind of these block section things, and I will have that um, take have the break target speed up really high, the deceleration speed 
low, the release speed up high, and the release acceleration um, quite high. So let's just do this and let's speed the game up until 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 we see the um, coaster train right around this area. All right. Now let's see. How is this going to work? Let's actually speed it up. Um, this might be okay. Um, I'm going to go down, I think, one more degree. I agree. And do that. Alright. Now, I think I'm going to start working on on the brake run. So what I usually do is I'll have just a bunch of block sections. And then this time I'm, I'm actually going to have this to turn around over here. Um, just like just like that all right uh, all right and now I'm gonna actually let's see how long I've been recording for okay over 30 minutes okay well I guess this video won't be as long as I thought well may maybe not and now I'm gonna have I'm, I'm gonna have a, have a little guess bump as I guess you guys could call it and then I'm gonna have two corkscrews back to back wanna say hi to my in uh, wanna say hi Dan Can I what Can I hi? I'm recording right now Yes. That's my dad and my mom. Um, I don't have face cam, but that's okay. Um, say subscribe and add to your channel. Add? Well, I don't know. Th subscribe, thumbs up. They can hear you right now. It's not live, but um, I will be posting this today. So. So what do I say? Whatever you want. Hi, I'm Janet, Tyler's mom. Tyler's been working hard on the video, so please, if you watch it, like it, subscribe, and whatever else you do. Good okay. luck. Okay, thank you. Uh, well, that was my mom, so. You heard her, make sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> Alright, let's do this, and... Let's see how these two corkscrews are. Um, kind of slow. Yeah, they're kind of slow, not going to lie. It is kind of slow. So instead of that, what I'll do is I will go up like this and then have the two corkscrews. One and two. And then let's smooth this part out. And then speed the game up until the train is right near this area once again. All right, let's see. Okay, that's good. I'm okay with that. Now, since we're right near the end of the ride, I'm gonna go down. Um, I'm gonna go go down a bit, and I don't know. I'm gonna have you know just a couple. Quick turns like that. And I'm just going to do that. And now let's have another, guess, small hill.
and normally I would use autocomplete. Well, actually, most of the time I'd use autocomplete, but I'm not this time. So I'm actually going to turn off angle snap for this part uh, because I want to somehow do this and then connect it up. Connect it up. Um, but I'm I'm gonna use autocomplete for this small part, and then the, this like door sign. I, I'm gonna press autocomplete or to connect the track. Then I'm just gonna smooth this part out because it looks kind of rough. Not gonna lie. Um. Now for this part, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually take piece by piece, and I'm gonna smooth it out just like that. Uh, that like that, and then just like this. Let's smooth this part out one, a few more times. There we go. Back over here. Smooth this out. Um, I'm gonna smooth this out. Smooth this out. Smooth this out, and what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna take. I know I'm gonna remove that block section, and I'm just. Um, actually, um, I don't know, I think I'm going to actually repro reprofile this, so like the block sections like that, and then I'm, then let's take this part. And then I'm just gonna connect it. Um, somehow, um, Let's take let's take this part and then let's do this. And then and then we'll do this. Um, I'm just doing almost whatever here. But yeah. Just just gonna Connect it. I'm trying not to use autocomplete. I really am. But but in this situation, to be honest, I kind of would just use autocomplete and not spend tons of time. I don't I don't like that. Um, let's take away um, let's do that. Um, there we go. Now I can just do that. All right. Well, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to smooth it out. So I'm actually going to smooth this pre-drop section, pre section just a bit. I guess that was quite a bit. But, and then this pole drop again, but especially the very top. I'm going to smooth out. Just like that. Just I'm I'm clicking a bunch of times. If yeah, hopefully you guys can, you guys might be able to hear me clicking. Um, 
you guys might be able to hear me cl clicking my mouse, but I am, so, yeah, anyway, uh, what am I saying? I have no clue, but yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just smoothing this out by, by clicking the smooth all button, and that should be good, um, I'm just gonna smooth that out a bit. And smooth this out, and then you know, just take these pieces, smooth them out, take the, I'm gonna take these two and smooth these out. There we go. And um, I'm gonna actually. Did I smooth it? I don't know. Did I smooth that out? No. I think I did, but I'm gonna smooth out more. And I will take this whole thing and smooth this out. Sorry about that, guys. That's my dog barking. And, and I'm gonna then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take this from the uh, from from the, my very first block se block section I place so I'm gonna take all this and right about to here actually no never mind first I'm gonna smooth this thing out this area out all right there we go just like that and then I'm gonna take then I'm gonna I'm from this first block section I placed here. Here I'm gonna highlight all this stuff and and I'm gonna put the catwalk on. Now, um, these little bumps really I don't I don't really have to smooth out, but I will a bit. And I'll, and I'll take this, smooth this out, there we go. And then I will go all the way over here. And I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take this block section and actually no, do you know what? I'm gonna do this. So this first will be I'm gonna slow this down a little bit. Um no never mind. Do you know what? Actually yes. I'm gonna slow this down a bit. Um uh, oh that highlighted all the all of it, okay. So yeah, I'm just gonna, then I'm just gonna do this, do this. Um, that's good. And do that. And and then what? I, and then I'm gonna speed the game up until the train comes right around to this area. Actually, 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 actually. Did I smooth this out? I don't know. This that transition doesn't look that good. Yeah, no. Okay, there we go. There we go. Um, and then s I'm actually gonna bank this a bit more and then smooth it out. There we go. And then s speed the game up once again. What? What's that? Um. That's. Ooh. Well, obviously that's a bit too slow. So I'll take. I'll. I'll. I will highlight the block sections again. Bring the speed up. Bring the acceleration down a bit. Uh, bring the release acceleration up, bring the release speed up, uh, there we go. And now let's speed the game up once again. Let's 
speed the game up until the train gets right around this area. Alright, let's see. Um, that's... Yeah, do you know what? That's actually a bit too fast, unfortunately. Coming! Um, so let's... COMING! Sorry about that, guys. But, yeah, anyway. Let's do this one more time to ho to see. Hopefully this is good. I'm trying to get this kind of realistic. Not gonna lie, but... Let's see. Um, that should be good. It's going slightly fast, but that should be good. And uh, there's the results already, but yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, after. All right, well, after for, uh, our, uh, a dinner I had, which was quite good, now I am I am back, and we're going to finish this coaster, but I, I think I'm actually going to ride it twice. So let's ride it now. Oops, not edit. Um... Let's no. Actually, first of all, let's. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna change the color and stuff of the track to, and, and the train. So I'm kind of going for a, for a um, nature kind of theme. I don't. I don't know. Do I want it to blend in, or do I like it like this? Um. Do you know what? I'm actually gonna I'm I'm actually gonna leave it like this, but I'm gonna let I'm gonna ride the ride. So let's uh, so let's do this. Um, do you know what? Let's actually change it to. I'm actually gonna change it to this um, camera angle because I like it better. So, yeah. So yeah. So there's a pre-drop section, and here is a vertical loop. Nice and smooth. It looks like at least. The cobra roll. So, that one part was a bit rough, but. Oh shoot, you know what? I actually forgot something. I forgot something. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm uh, I'm gonna take all of this right here and I'm gonna put a catwalk on it. Alright, alright, there we go. Yeah, just like that. Um you know what, guys? I know I had the game sounds, the the sound down, the, like the whole time, which I've been having for the for a while. But I want to actually, I'm gonna actually uh, put it up. 
not the soundtrack. Um, actually, yes. Let's do that. And that's... Actually, that, I'll just do that. There we go. Um, alright. Now let's re let now let's re 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 rewind 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 it. Turn it down a bit. All right, there we go. Oh my gosh! You know what? I should have done something. I forgot to do another thing. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna add the catwalk. You don't have to do this, but I'm gonna do it. So. Um, I actually want to add the catwalk on there too. Because there's really no reason to, why not? There's not really no reason not to, so. Yeah. Alright, now let's, um, ride the, r ride the coaster, man. I said, man. <laughs> One of my habits is... I always seem to say man, but yeah. Anyway, let now let's ride the coaster. Let's just, let's trim it down a bit. There we go. I know I keep on delaying this, but I can't help myself. I'm not satisfied with this part. I want I want this part to be smoothed out. There we go. All right, now finally, with uh, hopefully, without doing anything else, now let's ride this coaster.
Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That went pretty well in my opinion. That is smooth. Oh my god. At least from that camera angle. Um because I think I just want to do this. I just want um I, I want to like I want to write it from this camera angle because uh, I want to like actually see how smooth, smooth it is because I could be wrong I'm I don't know 100% but I think I guess I think that camera angle makes makes the coaster seem smoother I don't know for sure though Yeah, in a second. Yeah, I will in a sec. Hold on. Well, 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 that is pretty good if I say so myself. Um, now what I'm gonna do is, hold on. Alright, <laughs> alright, so now what I'm gonna do is go, go to the scenery section. Um, oh, there we go. My game kind of froze on me for a sec. And now, what trees w w would would look good? Um, uh, let's see. Maybe add some oak trees along the inside over here. Just like that. Along the outside as well. As well. And then I want to add some, maybe, some of these trees over here right along the outside of uh, right along over here Um, I don't want the palm trees. Uh, let's see. No, no, no. Um, 
Right? Yeah, no. No no palm trees. What what am I? Oh wow. Well. Um Emily, I'm almost done making. Pack, I'm almost done making this video. Five pack? minutes. Five minutes. Well, now let's add some trees. Uh, some of these trees over here. And this is uh, this is not. I'm not going for like um, for this to be realistic. I'm just going for this to to be kind of simple but not, uh, but for it to look nice as well so now we added some trees now let's add some rocks um, let's, we'll, we'll probably we'll mostly work with these rocks but where would the rocks fit in just some random ones around this area maybe I could work with a train tools with tools a tool as well which I think I am going to do Sorry about, uh, sorry about that, guys. That's my dog barking again. Um. Now, let's see. That that doesn't look too bad, but um. Do we add some black spruce trees? Yeah. Let's. You know what? Let's add just a few black spruce trees. In between this area as well. There you go. And now, um, let's actually use the ter terrain tool. Um, let's see. I just really wonder something. Um, how would this look if I kind of made like a mountain or whatever and I made it all the way up? Let's actually, let's use the undo, undo tool for a sec. How would, let's, again, how, how would this look? that to me that doesn't look that good but maybe we can make it look a bit better by um, by um, taking this area and pushing the train down like this some rough water and then maybe and then we can maybe go into scenery I think yeah and then go to um, special effects and then type in water um, oh, 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 oh my caps are okay well yeah of course eh, eh, what eh, anyway and then pick one of these. Um, how does that work? This, 
think what I need to do it is um is let's see let do you know what let's place this is turning into a freaking water well, tutorial well no it doesn't matter let's place that there for a sec and then let's see if we can um Flip it, or uh, flip it, or rotate it, so it'll be going down like that. Yes, and then we can also duplicate this. Um. What happens if we just place these things? And then take this. And then. Like that. No, that doesn't really look good. In my opinion. that and then maybe we can um, How can we do this? I want to du duplicate it again. Oh, yeah. D d duplicate. And then just keep on placing these. Um, and then we can maybe take some rocks. Let's go back to all. And then, and, oh, yeah. But let's take some rocks and then maybe place it, place a few on top like that. And then maybe even a couple, a few um, alpine, alpine trees. And then um, take the rocks and uh, take some uh, take some more rocks and then lower it and then place it in the water over here. There we go, and then let's use a train tool again. I, oh my gosh, I've been recording for over an hour. Okay. Um, I guess we can. Should we, I guess yeah, yeah. Let's paint um, this a bit with rocks. Let's bring the intensity down. Yeah. Just to touch this area with this this uh, with this type uh, with this type of rock all around, just like that, and then touch it with this type, maybe. So so we can hopefully get something that looks quite uh, decent.
and then maybe and then maybe just touch uh, touch it with a bit of sand not much but especially in this in these areas and maybe t take this rock and then just go along here a bit especially in that area just like that and then take this rock Ah, uh, let's get some more rocks there. And then maybe we can... Let's actually just like... Randomly, um, kind of t touch it up with grass as well. Um, and then maybe we can have... Have, have a decent amount of grass the outside like this um th um there we go should I have like a stream? Um. Yeah, do it. Let's do that. It'll almost be like um an island almost. But before we do that, let's bring the intensity back up. Um, let's do and the size actually. Let let let's just do some little dots with the train. Let's roughen it up, especially around here. Um, chisel, chisel it maybe a bit, roughen it up around here, and there, then tar then take the smooth button and do that. Um, there we go, let's, it's not rough enough around this area in my opinion, but, so let's do that, and then take the smooth tool. Um, there we go, and now let's actually, um, uh, um, uh, p take, take this, and then go right around here. And then br bring the intensity up, and the size up, actually. There we go, and, and then just do this around the whole thing here. Well, not not around. Uh, well, not around the whole thing, but. Right to about there. And then let's put water in it. Let's see. Oh gosh, it puts water there as well. Ah, you know what, whatever. Um, that's fine. And then, let's continue that with this. Right around, right around here. Just like that. Fine, I'm still recording. How's the binder, Tyler? Good. Good. Almost done this video. Um, is everything good? That's Yeah. That's this. Um, what's happening? I need to fix this bit. Is that good? 
could maybe me. Maybe so. Please, please. Oh gosh, that only fills up there. Um. Oh. Okay. Well, I guess that is good. Yeah. Seems like it. Let's actually move this tree out of the water. All right. There we go. Um. Actually, you know what? 